Hi, I'm Krista Namdahl and welcome to my studio. In this video, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for making a new pattern. In this six part video series, I'm going to show you how to make some easy mitts, loofahs, and dishcloths using Be So Scrubby Yarn is my brand new number three DK weight textured yarn that is great for scrubbing dishes, cleaning bathrooms and floors, or even exfoliating your skin. You'll also need a size H8 or five millimeter crochet hook and a yarn needle and scissors. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the flat popcorn mitt with strap. You're going to need two balls of Be So Scrubby yarn and a size H8 or five millimeter crochet hook. Let's get started. First, we're going to tie our yarn to our crochet hook. You can use a square knot, a slip knot, whichever works best for you, it doesn't matter. You could even use a magic ring if you prefer. And we're gonna start with a chain six and slip stitch to the sixth chain from our hook to form a ring. This is our working loop, so we'll count back one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now we have a chain six ring. Round one begins with the beginning popcorn, which is a chain three that counts as our first double crochet, and we'll work four more double crochets in the ring. Yarn over, insert your hook in the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, three more, Okay, we're now going to elongate our working loop, drop our crochet hook from the working loop, and insert our crochet hook from front to back in the top of the chain three, then insert our crochet hook back into the working loop and pull the working loop through. And by doing this, we're cinching those stitches together to create that volume of the popcorn. The chain three counted as our first double crochet, and that's why we call this a beginning popcorn. Uh, the repeat for this round is chain three and popcorn in the ring. Let me show you how we do a regular popcorn now. So it's five double crochets in the ring. Elongate your working loop, remove your crochet hook, insert your crochet hook into the first of those five stitches, then insert your crochet hook back onto the working loop and pull it through. And we have now cinched those five stitches together to create that popcorn volume or bobble. Let me show you on this one. You can see how much it went from a five double crochet shell into this beautiful textured raised cluster of stitches. And so our repeat for this round is to do chain three popcorn and ring a total of five times. So we did our beginning popcorn, chain three popcorn once, we're gonna do it four more times. Then after our last repeat, it's chain three and slip stitch to the top of the first popcorn stitch at the beginning of the round to join. At the end of round one, you should have six popcorns and six chain three spaces. Round two begins with slip stitching into the first chain three space, working a beginning popcorn, which was chain three and four double crochets. Dropping our working loop, inserting our hook into the top of the chain three that counted as our first double crochet, pulling our working loop through. And there's our beginning popcorn, chain three, and working a popcorn in that same chain three space, which is five double crochets. Drop our working loop, insert our hook into the first of the five stitches from front to back, pull the working loop through, and there's our regular popcorn made. Chain three, and this is what we're going to be repeating around. It'll be popcorn, chain three, popcorn in the next chain three space, and chain three. You wanna repeat it all the way around. 
At the end of the last repeat, you want to slip stitch to the top of the first popcorn stitch at the beginning of the round to join. And this is what your work should look like at the end of round two. You should have 12 popcorns. Round three begins with slip stitching into the first chain three space and working a beginning popcorn, chain three popcorn in this chain three space. Then our repeat for this round is chain three, popcorn in next chain three space, chain three, popcorn, chain three, popcorn in the next chain three space. And you wanna repeat this all the way around. At the end of the last repeat, you want to slip stitch to the top of the first popcorn stitch at the beginning of the round to join. At the end of round three, you should have 18 popcorns. And I wanna set my work down here so I can show you what we are doing. We're working popcorn, chain three, popcorn into each corner and then working a popcorn into each chain three space that's not a corner. So we started with six corners. So on the next round, it was a corner and then one popcorn. So then on the next round, it'll be a corner and then a popcorn into each of the next two chain three spaces. And then the following round, there'll be one more extra chain three space there to work another single popcorn. So we're increasing by six popcorns each round. I'll show you the beginning of round four to show you how we're working one more of the single popcorns from round three, but you wanna continue on in this established pattern, pattern for both rounds four and five, and then end up having a total of 30 popcorns at the end of round five. So each round begins with slip stitching into the first chain three space, working a beginning popcorn, chain three, and a regular popcorn to count as our corner. And so for round four, it's going to be chain three and popcorn in the next chain three space times two. And in round five, it'll be to do that times three in between each corner. Understanding how we work this established increase pattern makes this pattern even more valuable to you because you could make this larger or smaller than these. You could keep growing this in the established pattern to make a rug or in a different yarn, even make a blanket or a pillowcase. Lots of ways you could use this beautifully textured pattern. Uh, so let me show you how we're going to work this strap on the back side. It is super simple. All you wanna do, regardless of which round you end on, you're going to slip stitch into the first chain three space, chain one, and work three single crochets in that same chain three space, single crochet in the next popcorn stitch, and three single crochets in the next chain three space. Then row two is chain three, counts as our first double crochet, turn our work, and work one double crochet in each stitch across. Chain one, turn your work, one single crochet in each stitch across. And you wanna repeat the last two rows until your strap is long enough to cover the back side or the diameter of your mitt. Once your strap is approximately the length of the diameter of the back side of the mitt, you wanna end on a double crochet row. And for the final row, we're going to do a single crochet row and we're gonna line this up over the opposite side of the mitt with a chain three popcorn and chain three, which is what, how we centered the strap on this side. So what you wanna do is single crochet two together in the next stitch and in that opposite chain three space. And so we'll do the first three single crochets in that same chain three space simultaneously as we work into the first three double crochets. And then in the next double crochet, we'll work simultaneously with the next popcorn stitch. And then in each of the three final double crochets, we'll work simultaneously through both thicknesses in the next chain three space. So it's insert your hook in the next double crochet and in the next chain three space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And we'll do that on the last stitch as well. And then we can fasten off and weave in our loose ends. Isn't that wonderful? You can find a link to this pattern and all the other patterns in this collection in the video description. And you can get information on 
Be So Scrubby Yarn. And there's also a link in the video description to watch all the videos in this series on all the scrubby patterns for Be So Scrubby Yarn. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, please leave them for me in the comments. Everything we talked about today, you can find as links in the video description below. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.